What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with Steejay. I'm going to focus on Ryan Smith calling it a career. Smitty was one of my favorite players. Uh, you know, amazing hair and just a great hard nosed style of hockey that, as someone who like who like me, had to spend most of my youth hockey career in front of the net because I had no other skills. I uh, respected the hell out of Ryan Smith going to those those uh, you know high traffic areas. You know, taking some cross checks, establishing position, tipping, tapping, and deflecting shots, and on the way to uh, over 380 NHL goals and. You know, I think you're just watching him play, you really admire him. He had like a pop gun shot, but he scored a lot of goals just from doing the little things. And again, you, you admire the hell out of someone for doing that. Uh, having said that, I think um, Smitty has two regrets in his career. I mean, first of all, you don't regret anything, but I think if Smitty could go back, he wouldn't have left Edmonton the first time. Um, I know they, they lowballed him on the contract, but um, actually, I, I wouldn't even go that far in terms of leaving Edmonton because he went to Colorado, played with um, played with Joe Sackick for a year. Then uh, you know Sackett retired, and that was that was that. But um, you know, then the next year was an unmitigated disaster. But uh, then the, going to Los Angeles, you know, he played for the Kings for two years, and then asked out, and then LA won the Cup the year after he left. Um, you know, I know he wanted to be back in Edmonton. You, were, I don't know how much he loved you know Southern California or Los Angeles, but um, you know, had he stuck had he stuck around LA, he would have got he would have got his name on the Stanley Cup, which is what he was. You know, going for, um, but you know, going out there, I'm sure he was an integral part of Edmonton's leadership core, which you know they, they needed more than that this year and then last year and last few years. But um, you know, I, I admire the hell out of him. He had a very, very unique career. Number six overall pick, played for his hometown Oilers. You know, I think he was a stick boy back when Gretzky and uh, those guys were playing uh, in the in the eighties, and, and then he you know, ended up playing for uh, Moose Jaw. Then with um, with the Oilers, you know, a little bit of time in the mind. He's a guy I wish played for the Bruins. I think he would have been a fan favorite with the Bruins. But, you know, you, you, um, you live and learn. And I think Smitty learned how to be a accomplished NHL scorer, uh, you know, throughout his career just by, by doing the little things. And, again, you tip your hat to the guy because his offensive prowess was uh, unique. It was definitely unique. But, uh, anyway, that's why I got this episode of the power play. And, actually, before I, I leave... I got to watch him play this year for, for Edmonton in Tampa, and uh, you know, I got to enjoy that because you know you grow up idolizing a guy. And uh, my hair isn't as long as it usually is. I try to make it look like a cross between Smitty and Jay Gowen, the country music singer. Um, but it's uh, it's just, it's kind of sad day for hockey, you know, everywhere because everyone loves Smitty. But anyway, that's like on a episode of the Power, especially uh, ESPN's own Gus Selvin. Um, huge, huge Power Play fan, huge Ryan Smith fan. Check out his article on college basketball and on uh, this week's ESPN the magazine. Fellow Catholic Memorial Night. Anyway, finally, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ on Ryan Smith calling it a career. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.